One, two, three, fuck it. Hello guys, welcome back. I am Anna and today we are going to be reacting to the 10th and last episode of the first season of Descendant. Now I know there are there is a double episode, kind of a special bonus thing in Netflix. Not sure yet if I'm gonna be reacting to that, but I am really excited to finish this season. So let's jump right in and let's see what's going to happen with the Corinthian, with Rose, with the Dreaming, with with every fucking body. <laughs> let's go. I'm not gonna hurt you. You just killed that man. I just saved your life. Again. You think he's watching you so he can protect you? He's watching you because the minute you fall asleep and start bringing the walls down between people's dreams, He's gonna kill you. But if someone protected you, kept him from killing you, well, then you'd become the center of the dreaming. I'll tell you what. This is your room. You can have both keys. I'll come back in an hour. I'll knock. If you want, you can let me in. If not, I'll go away. I'll lock the door when I leave. Because you never know. Oh, the illusion of having a choice. Is proof, at least to me, that dreams do come true. We are the American dreamers, driving down the holy road of true knowledge that's paved with blood and gold. And we are hunters, soldiers of fortune, oh, and oh, kings of the night. I mean, he can give a hell of a speech. I have done my best to be what you made me. No. You've done your worst, which was in so many ways what I had hoped. You were my masterpiece. A dark mirror made to reflect everything humanity will not confront. Because I won't go willingly. I've got Rose Walker getting stronger every second while you get weaker. She's bringing the walls down between the sleepers' minds. Your world, everything, and everyone will die. Don't believe him, Rosie. It's happened before. If I'm as powerful as you say I am, then I will find my own way. In the meantime, the walls go back up. Because no. I'm not dreaming anymore. Do you know why I do it? So I can taste what it's like to be human. So I must uncreate you now. The feeling, the feeling. I am only sorry I won't be here to see Rose Walker do the same to you. Next time I make you, you will not be so flawed and petty, little dream. For this is my judgment upon you that you shall know. From this moment on, exactly how craven and selfish and monstrous you are, that you shall feel the pain of those you have slaughtered. Hello, 911. I'm calling to confess to a crime. And the grief of those that mourn them still, and you shall carry that pain and grief and guilt with you until the end of time. <laughs> Tonight when she sleeps, I will find her. And we will end this. Is that a raw spider? It used to be. We have a vast collection of arachnid taxidermy. If You'd like to see. Hey. Is there anyone we should call? Lightest family? Or the baby's daddy, whoever it is. I, you don't have to tell us. Who is he? 
it's... I often wonder what my life would have been like had I not slept through it. Would I have had a family? And what must that be like? Once you and Jack get here, I won't have to wonder anymore. If you have the power to destroy the world, then you have the power to destroy him. I don't want to destroy him. When you go to sleep tonight, you have to find him and end this. It's up to you, Rose. Wherever we go, whatever we do... Ken? <sighs> what are you doing at the place of Los Carnadine? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. No, I'll save you! No, Jack! Death is not always such a bad thing. You could stay here if you like. I, I left my post here to experience life as a human being, a life which I humbly offer in exchange for yours. I cannot find it in my heart to punish you for leaving Fiddler's Queen. But it is time you took up your appointed position once more. And after your death, if you stay in the dreaming, visit me. Walk in my meadows and my green glades. Rest beneath my trees. Farewell, Rose Walker. It was a privilege being human with you. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I am Rose's great grandmother, and according to this book, I was meant to be the vortex of this age. But because you were imprisoned and locked out of the dreaming, that fate was handed down to my descendants. I don't understand. Yeah, you're not very bright, are you? <laughs> happens you died so that rose might live i was meant to have died a long time ago rose but if i had i would never have met my golden eyed man and we would never have had our beautiful baby girl and you would not have been born wait the father of your child had golden eyes I've never seen anything like them. I have. You and your brother are children of the Endless. You have suffered enough. You may leave this place. Goodbye, Rose. Oh, I have so many questions. <laughs> Did you ever notice how people only ever use your name when you're in trouble? Rose. That's true, actually. Uh, it's uh, one at a time. What? Oh, come, babe. Babe, it was just a dream. I don't know. I had this dream last night, and now I'm thinking, what if I sell the house and move back? We'll buy the house. What did you truly intend? That I should spill family blood? With all that would entail? <laughs> this time, it almost worked. My sibling. <laughs> Mess with me or mine again and I shall forget you are family. Do you believe yourself strong enough to stand against me? Oh, poor dream. I really got under your skin this time, didn't I? Next time, I'll draw blood. Why? <laughs> Why do they have this dynamic? I'm curious, what happened? Is it just the way they are? A new book appeared in the library this morning, written by Rose Walker. 
And how is it? You may take issue with the depiction of the king in the story, but <laughs> I loved it. The world does not need a new Corinthian quite yet. You not wish to say hello? I may be here a while. Would you mind taking care of things while I work? With pleasure, sir. The armies of hell are yours to command, should you wish to strike. You wish to invade the dreaming? If you command it. And then perhaps the waking world. And one day, even the Silver City. Precisely. Since none of us may leave hell, we may as well expand its borders until hell is all there is. You have... The generals demand action. Do they? Then I shall act. May I ask, what are you going to do? Something that I have never done before. Something that will make God absolutely livid. And bring Morpheus to his knees. Oh my god, that was a hell of a cliffhanger. Now we know that we have a season 2. When is it dropping? Because <laughs> I need it now. That was amazing. You know, we do love a happy ending. I adore a happy ending. I love it so much. And here, so much, you know, growth of character and so much oh, resolution to things. It was a great way to end this conflict, you know, about the vortex. It was, it was perfect. I loved it. I have so many questions, but I think I'm just gonna ask you two of them. Um. Does he ever actually claim Lila's baby? You know, he said that it was conceived in the dream and that he could and would take it because it was his. And also, um, what does it mean to be a child of the endless? The way that he called um, Rose and Jeb. I... I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm processing, I'm still processing, but are there more children of the endless? This was such a good show. Honestly, I enjoyed every single minute of it. Tell me in the comments if you want me to react to the extra bonus episode that they have on Netflix. Um, I would be up for it. Absolutely. Well, guys, this was it for today's video and for uh, the show so far. I am waiting for the second season. Um, let me know how you like this and let me know what you think I should react to next. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day and I'll be seeing you around.